Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. You know the book of the book of Matthew and Matthew chapter 10 verse 6 or 16 is it? Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 and it says, "Behold, look, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves. So be wise as a serpent, harmless or innocent as doves." And really what Jesus was saying, you have to be aware of your surroundings. You go around people, you can't avoid certain people. Whether they're in church or they're not in church. You can't avoid certain people. Because unless you're not, unless you're going to be, even if you're a hermit and you live alone, at some point, you need to get out and get food. You're not going to always have somebody to get it for you. Even if you're the most wealthy person. So at some point, you're going to come across people. And you're going to come across not so kind people. I'm not using the word nice because nice is not indicative of kind. I know what people mean when they say be nice. You know, nice sometimes mean you're an oaf or doltish. Behold, I'm sending you as a pure one among, among the impure ones. I want you to remain pure. That, it, that is what it means when it says harmless or innocent as those. It's not perfection. Okay? It is... You know, let your name not be stained. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. It is about your character, not your reputation. Because they try to soil Jesus' reputation. They try to soil people that we see in this 21st century reputation. They try that. But we're talking about what, who you really are, not what you perceive somebody to be. Because people only perceive people to be on the basis of what people have said to them. So people come, and if you're a no-nonsense person and you... You know, you're very forthright, uh, you're assertive, you're true, you're honest. People will spin it as though you're the complete opposite of that. And we know that. Jesus experienced that when they said he had the spirit of Beelzebub, which is an, the chief of Satan. I mean, it would be a completely evil man. This is a man who was just good and pure-hearted. So don't be surprised. Remember, as the book of Matthew 7, Matthew 5, sorry, somewhere, I think it's verse 11, that says, Blessed are you. When men shall revile you, meaning they will criticize you harshly and persecute you. I mean, really treat you bad, stay in your name and say all manner of evil. It includes everything against you falsely, meaning lies for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad because great is your reward. Your great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted the prophets who were before you. But be wise. Remember when the man the, the, in the in, in Gada, where that king wanted to, uh, David um, didn't want his life to be annihilated. He had to pretend as if he was insane, in order to escape the man reporting him that he saw him to Saul. He had to act like a madman, a complete insane man, so that he would recognize him. So because he would say, "That can't be King David. No, sir, that can't David. That no man. I'm not David. That the man that no same probably resembling, him, but he's not David. That." So you have to use wisdom there. And so on look how it's me tell you, Sir David did mad and spread a false propaganda. I'm just showing you, you know. I'm showing you a situation here. You don't know that the man is saving his life. So he had to pretend as if he's mad. Sometimes people are around you, you know, they're being mischievous. They're speaking all manner of nonsense and evil and lies about others. You may not be able to correct them because you're not their mother and their father. And if, if you were, they're adults. And you're not in a position to. You just have to step back and say, Oh, this is how you would do me as well. Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't know. Let me let me digress, but I'm really on the same topic. If you find somebody coming to you and always gossiping about somebody, I mean, they're completely vitriolic, rancorous, and speaking all manner of evil, I guarantee you your day is coming they're going to do the very same to you because you're not you're not God. if they're going to speak this about Jesus himself God himself you are a mere mortal there must be some time that you're going to rub the person the wrong way there must come that time in the encounter that you must rub that person the wrong way they're going to speak badly about you too and chances are they may go back to the very person that you were gossiping about I've seen it happening time and time again. That is why the Bible talks about you just watch and you pray. Be wise. Snakes or serpents, whatever you want to say. They're very independent, but they're sure they're smart. 
that's why they notice how they always watch they always notice when they even when they look at the camera they watch and they watch because they know there's there's going to be coming that time when they come in for the kill they come in for that some people are not smart sometimes you have to play like a fool fool you know you're foolish sometimes you have to play like me. let them have you as an idiot who you think will have the the, the the better end of the stick at the end of the day you will you have the advantage because they think you're an idiot they think you're foolish they think you're unwise you know you have to know when to use it you know what i mean if you're doing a presentation you're not going to behave like an oaf you're not going to behave like an adult you're not going to behave like a simpleton you're going to be very good you know but during conversation sometimes pull back sometimes pull back and listen because the silence will speak the so-called silence let them have you as an idiot if you see them gossiping about people i won't encourage you to consistently go around there but you will realize oh you say this about mary you say this about jim you said this about brown you say this about sue you will do this to me so i know how to limit my encounters with you I'm good, but you don't you don't give it away no so unfor i don't even like you say you're, you're being diplomatic use diplomacy Hi hypocrisy kind of sound very deceptive you know it's, there's an evil connotation with it so i don't want you to say that you have to be diplo um, diplomatic because the reality is most people are not necessarily going to be real and true they're going to be pretentious and false that's the reality you know so what you're going to do not speak to everybody no you have to sometimes just kind of take the hits you know um as long as it's not, it's not blatant disrespect and over like a repeated thing something incessant then you know you have to address that you know but in terms of you realize the characteristics just and don't feel badly if you're alone in time you will see them more for you than those against you in time you will have your so-called disciples supporting you just wait it will come at the right time remember days like a thousand years in the sight of god a thousand years is like a day so you don't know which one of them you get in if it's a thousand years or the day the day 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 that we know as a day and you know god is like a crock pot meaning it's slow you can't rush him i've often said that the only time you see god move like a, a microwave is if you pray and say lord teach me how to love teach me how to be patient teach me how to... oh god it come like before you said the words some tests come right away to teach you some test but in terms of things that you may ask him for you know house land car money fame for oh lord of mercy mm -mm. no 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 nobody feels an overnight thing that is gonna happen and if you're worthy of it you understand if you are worthy of it so please i want you to understand you live in a real world a very deceptive and evil world you have to be wise wise as a serpent you have to be wise as a serpent harmless harmless as a dove wise you can't fool fool you can't stupid people laugh but they're really not laughing with you people say positive words but they don't mean it and I'm not saying that you have to live in paranoia no you're not going to be ridiculous and I'm not going to say going to accuse everybody that gives you you just re receive and say thank you you know thank you you know whoever is true will remain true it will be lasting but you have to be wise you have to be wise as that serpent they're smart notice God didn't even tell anybody to be wise like he would say and funny enough like an eagle or like a lion the serpent they're, they're cunning you have to be that way not in an evil way they're, they're smart because they know some of the limitations no limbs no hands no feet well guess what happened they can, one of the few that can live both on land and in water so them, in other words they know how to survive in any situation you have to be wise people are tricky you have to be wise. People are pretentious. They're fake. And, they're, and sometimes they feel that like you don't see through them, you know. No matter how you think, you see right through them. And you just say, Tchow. you have to later. You're just a part of the, the stepping stone sort of a situation. So when Jesus says, Send him on, she go, you're just, just still remain the sheep. Still remain honest, pure, and just. Maybe one day one of them may turn over and turn into a sheep. You have to just do the right thing. Alright guys, you know what to do, read TikTok, YouTube, 
Stay blessed and share this.